MM500 3x motorized micromanipulator installation and use video. Micromanipulator is a device which is used to physically interact with a sample under a microscope, where a level of precision of movement is necessary that cannot be achieved by the innate human hand. One product accessories introduction before unpacking. Please check the outer packaging carefully. If there is any damage or bruises on the pack, please contact Reward as soon as possible. The accessories, included in the box are mechanical manipulator, controller, rotary photoelectric anchor, adapter plate, dovetail base and slide rail, power wire, packing list and certificate, wiring, user manual, installation tools, 2. Mechanical manipulator installation. In order to prevent transportation damages to the manipulator, the slide track will be locked by six screws before leaving the factory. In order to work properly, we need to remove the screws of each axe of the manipulator. The first one is the x axis Rotate the x axis by 90 degrees. Locate the two screws on the side near the center and remove them using a hexagon wrench. Next is the y axis which requires flipping to find the two screws near the center and removing them. Finally for the ZX, find the two screws near the center and remove them. Now the three axes could move normally. To ensure the stability of the MM500, the manipulator should be fixed. We can choose a platform with holes of M5 or M6 screws aperture for fixing. Now, using M5 screws aperture supports column platform. Place the adapter plate in the appropriate position on the platform with holes, and then secure it with four cross screws. Next, install the manipulators onto the adapter plate. Firstly, we need to find the position of the corresponding four screw holes on the adapter plate. Align the manipulator, and fix it with four and three hexagon screws. Next, install the dovetail base on the manipulator panel. Turn the brake lever counterclockwise to open the dovetail base. Align the screw holes on the manipulator panel and secure the dovetail base with four cross screws. In general, we need to remove the slide on the dovetail base. The fixing screw located on the side of the slide, amplifier probes for patch clamp experiments, or syringe pumps for injection experiments, can be connected in the groove. Here, our 480 nanoliter injection pump is used as an example to demonstrate. When connecting with the micro manipulator, we need a special fixing accessory. Insert the fitting into the groove and fix it. Insert the general fixing accessory. Adjust the position and tighten the screw to fix the fitting using a hexagon wrench. Finally, insert a 480 nanoliter injection pump into the general fixing accessory and tighten the knob to complete the connection. If we need to adjust the angle, use a hexagon wrench to loosen the side swivel screw. Rotate to a proper angle and tighten the screw to complete adjustment. Three, integral cable connection. Here are all the components that need to be connected, including the controller, encoder, and manipulator. This is the controller power interface. 
This is the interface connected with left and right hand mechanical manipulators. Please pay attention to the alignment of red dots at the interface when inserting. Connect the other end of the cable to the manipulator interface, aligning the red dots on the connector. This is the interface to the encoder. Connecting the other end of the cable to it. This port is reserved for future software upgrades. This is a ground interface for static and electromagnetic elimination. After pressing the switch, the controller starts normally and no alarm occurs. At this situation, the MM503X motorized micromanipulator has been installed. 4. Instrument Usage Introduction This is the main interface of the controller. Click to switch the locking and unlocking state of the manipulator. When locked is displayed, the manipulator cannot be moved. Click to toggle absolute or relative coordinates. Absolute coordinates are reference to the absolute origin. Relative coordinates are reference to the set relative origin. Click the relative origin and set the absolute coordinates of the current position to the relative origin. On the screen left side, there are three coordinate positions corresponding to the Y, Z and X axes respectively. On the screen right side, there is the functional mode currently in use. The encoder interface has five buttons representing different functions. We can choose different modes flexibly on the encoder and use them in combination. Meanwhile, the selected mode can be displayed synchronously on the controller interface. The first button corresponds to two different spatial resolutions of movement. In course adjustment mode, the distance moved per step is 0.132 microns. In fine adjustment mode, the distance moved per step is 0.033 microns. If we need to move the manipulator quickly, select the course mode. The second button corresponds to two movement modes. The first is the continuous mode, which controls the manipulator to move uninterruptedly. We can select continuous mode when we need to move quickly. The second is the step mode, which can set the length of each step and the speed of movement. We can adjust the movement displacement by adjusting the number of steps per pulse in these two modes. The speed can be adjusted by varying the number of steps per second. The third button corresponds to the switch between the two manipulator arms, but in light off means arm 1 mode. In addition, we can set a certain location as the origin point, and then we can set the usual work location as the work point. Usually, we can change the clamping item at the origin point. After we replace the items at the origin point, click the work button, quickly move to the work point to improve the efficiency of the experiment. Here is the menu which contains settings for multiple sections. The first part is the switch manipulator. When we use two manipulators, it can be switched by clicking on the other connected manipulator. The next step is to set the parameters of diagonal mode. We can choose X or Z aches as the main aches of movement. The angle alpha is moving from the top right corner to the bottom left corner. The angle beta is moving from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. The optional range of angles is from 1 to 89 degrees. We can check the memory point, like the relative origin, work, and origin. In system settings, we can choose used language, automatic standby time, and screen brightness. After switching or moving the manipulator, zero calibration is required to ensure accurate position. There are also the usual date and time settings. Maintenance is only available to reward after sales maintenance personnel.
In the preset program, we provide 10 default programs that can be modified and saved from the parameter editor. As well as executing the current parameter using the call button. For more details and operation, please refer to the user manual.